Hello and welcome. So we're always doing something new, as you may be aware of. My name is Patrick, in case you forgot or you haven't seen me before. Something new that has been, of course, here for a long time with us, with myself. And today what I want to share with you is about learning and teaching. Not from the ordinary perspective, maybe, from the perspective of joy. Really, learning and teaching is joy. And of course, often we have stories of our childhood where we had to study so hard, where we had to go another way. Sometimes in our professional life, in our university part, we really had to work hard to, to study well, to learn well and to achieve a number of things that were important. But really, teaching and learning is not about that. Teaching and learning is about a natural state of being. Teaching and learning is about what does it feel like? What are the questions that help me to understand? It's not about following concepts and doing things in a certain way. It's not about memorizing. It is a skill, of course, knowing what is the question and how can I approach it so the other person will get the answer they might be looking for. So when we are looking at teaching and learning from a natural state, it is more about observation. It's about awareness. Yes, I'm talking about the I am that is always here, always present, and that is the master of the mind. Surely, our cognitive abilities, our intelligence, helps us. But it's about observing. It's about being aware. So what is so different that I feel it's, it's worth it to talk about it? And what is so important to me? When I started teaching at university, which was something I just fell into as I got more and more into teaching. One of the first things I, I got to teach was study skills. And it's very funny. Here was the guy who didn't go to university. And here was the guy who maybe didn't know anything about study skills. But when I started that, I could leave behind all my baggage of bad experience of learning, having to be competitive, having to follow someone, all the labeling and all the conditioning that I had about, about learning disappeared because I connected to a more natural state through which I learned the skills and taught the skills. And I realized that real learning is about choice. And it is about maybe making a difference. So we could say there is a learning for somebody who lives in a 3D world, fitting in, following, delivering, competing, self-interest, all these things, pressure. And there is, in a way, if we want to call it a 5D learning, where we simply observe, where we enjoy this natural state of seeing what's happening in nature, where we read the signs without being attached. So the learning is not a one-way road. The learning is not necessarily rational. The learning is in looking beyond and feeling how the messages are coming to us, noticing could be this way or another, but not being attached to it. So this is the first introduction to the joy of teaching and learning. And how do we share that? So this passion, you can say already, has been with me for more than 20 years or more than 20 years consciously. And it is possibly one of our core things that we enjoy. And Ceci has, of course, joined me in this. So it is wonderful to be in that natural state and that joy 
of learning and teaching together. So, how can you experience it? At this current moment, we are doing a lot of preparation. So, what is available right now is programs, retreats, and also apprenticeships by application. We have four different topic areas that we can offer on a beginner's one-on-one -on -one, on one level up to a master level. This is the idea. And the retreats are now available in Peru in different locations by your choice. The other thing how you can experience it is our custom-made part. So this is really about designing and facilitating something that you need in your environment can be also meditations and ceremonies. And as we are preparing more and more and more, you can also experience this in the workshops that we will put online when it's already on the website. So, what does teaching and learning mean for you? Can you get into the flow of it and enjoy it? Would you like to go deeper on teaching and learning and find out more about your natural state, the flow, the ease, and the joy. So hope to see you soon and very curious to hear how it all feels for you.